Okay, so here we are again. Um, uh, with this with this video, I'm going to demonstrate the 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 uh, creation of the rocker arm. That is the uh, the thing that you'll be doing in the lab this week. Okay, um, and so the first thing to do is open up a new file. Um, we'll use the same seed 2D file. Uh, so it's got metrics again, right? So this, these blocks in the grid are one meter. Uh, long, so we're going to change the settings of the design file just like before, and this time the working units will be inches. Okay, we're going to do inches, and we can leave the accuracy at 0 0.124, 1234. Okay, so now this this is about uh, this is a meter wide, so it's about 40 inches. Uh, the rocker arm, uh, you'll remember, or you should have it in front of you, uh, is, I don't know, probably around uh, three inches total or so, three inches square. So really, we, uh, we don't need uh, 40 inches, so we should zoom in quite a bit on this um, and maybe, uh, maybe a couple of clicks here. Uh, and the first step, I'm going to start us at, at point number one. And I'm going to draw an arc. Okay, so when I draw the arc, you'll notice I, I, there are different methods of drawing an arc. I choose the uh, start center. So the start means a, a, a point on the arc, and then a click there, and then a click in the, on the center of the arc. Okay, so we're going to start at point number one in your in your uh, in the in the sketch drawing that you have is here. That's the start of the arc. And I have an arc that goes to the to the left, right, from point number one to point number twelve. Okay, and the uh, radius of the arc is 0.4 inches. So I'll type 0.4 in the x direction. Left click, that's the center. And now see, I can sweep the arc um, to 180 degrees. Left click, and we're done. So now see, we didn't really zoom in far enough here. Let me zoom in one more time, maybe one more time. And you, can, you, you can move around and experiment with how far in you should be um, um, coming. So I'm going to do another arc. I'm going to do the 2.2 inch arc this time. So I'm going to go from point 1, is, is the point on the arc, to the center, which is 2.2 units in the x direction to the right. Type that in, and then left click, and notice down at the bottom of the screen on the left, it says place arc by center, define arc sweep angle. So see now it wants to be at 90 degrees. So that's where we're going to put it, right? That's what the picture says. So when we do that, left click, that's, the, uh, that's that big arc. Now I want the arc at the bottom, that other arc at the bottom. So we're going to do another arc, and the point on the arc is at point three, and then I'll come down uh, in this direction to point seven. Uh, again, the radius is point four, and I want to sweep it, see how I can sweep it again. You can say experiment with that. 180 degrees, left click, and then uh, so now I've got. Um, most of it done. The last piece, well, no, it's not the last piece. The last piece of the outside figure, uh, we can use a smart line or polyline. And what I want to do, instead of having a series of lines with sharp points, I'm going to uh, create a rounded corner in the lower left corner, and the rounding radius will be one inch. That's what's shown on the on the sketch. So we'll start up here at point number five. Left click. And now I want to come down, but I don't know how far to come down. It doesn't say in the picture. I could figure it out. The easiest way to do this is to hit the return, and that toggles orthogonal drawing. So now I can come down here and snap to this point and I'll get a line that's orthogonal to the first point. See how that works? Wherever I go here, it only goes vertical. So I'm going to snap to this point vertically, 
left click and now I can close it and see how when I do this it forms a circle or an arc at the at the at the vertex left click and then right click to get out and we're done that's the external um, boundary of the of the uh, of the figure so now what I want to do is I want to place those there are three circles little circles inside so we're going to place three circles place circle and I want to place it by the center um, for now it doesn't matter about the area whether it's solid or a hole uh, for now let's just uh, don't worry about that um, so I'm going to I'm going to place the center of this first one at point 12 right and um, oh by the way uh, let's let's specify the diameter over here why not diameter is given as um, 0.325 return right so now when I come over here I'm going to place it by this it's dragging around by the center of that thing and I can place it right at the center of that other that top arc and I can place another one over at the center over here. Now this last one, I'm going to place it at the center of this one inch arc. And then we're going to move this. But let's, let's place this here for now. And then right click to get out. So now I'm going to take this. I'm almost done. I just have this last thing I have to do. So let's come up to the uh, manipulate tools and, and click and hold and I want to choose the move tool this time and I want to move it I want to move this what I want to move it 0.5 inches down into the left right um, uh, so but I need polar coordinates for that I can't use XY very easily so if you hit the space bar it changes notice so type in 0.5 for the distance, and it's 135. That's a multiple of 45. You can see it's in the right direction. So left click, and you're done. That's it. Okay.